Hey guys, I do by Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a first look at iPadOS Developer Beta 1. Now before we do begin, of course, anything and everything that I share in this video today is subject to change before the official release of iPadOS later this year. We can anticipate iPadOS 14 to be released towards the fall season, so maybe September, uh, early October, we'll see the official release for this software. Now iPadOS is sort of a refinement to build upon iPad OS 13 with iPad OS 14. Now there's a lot of new changes and features as well. There's a lot of enhancements to the pencil, which we'll go over in a few seconds. But there's a few things that are very similar to iOS. So for example, the messages, behavior, and settings and features are identical to uh, iOS with iPad OS. The incoming call UI for FaceTime calls, you see the new banner up at the top with incoming calls without taking the, up the entire display. That's also here. The widgets are fully featured. You can edit your widgets. You can add widgets and add widget stacks as well. The only difference is you can't bring the widgets over on top of the apps and set them there. It doesn't work just like it does on iPhone, but there are pretty much on the home screen as well. And uh, one thing that isn't present on iPadOS is the app library feature that we find in iOS. It doesn't really make sense to have it on iPad. It isn't here in beta one and Apple may not be bringing that feature to iPad, but iPad also has its own set of features that are unique to it. Now, as we know with iPad OS 13, Apple was aiming to uh, redefine the iPad category, just separated from the rest of the devices and maybe eventually becoming a full computer replacement. Apple continues to build upon those features or refinements and just make iPad an independent device all together and I really like what Apple is doing here so first off let's go to the photos and show you a quick video clip about the new Apple Pencil and Apple Pencil features so we have the hardware text where you can scribble and it'll change it into text is working decently right now in beta 1 is working great this little clip also shows you how to delete text while using Apple Pencil how to select text how to insert the text and how to join text as well so when you first install iPad OS you get all these little tutorials throughout the OS that really help improve the user experience. Now, one thing that I do like about the iPad OS is also the menus around the operating system. So for example, if I go here to the Files app, you see these little menus that pop up into place. You can select them, you can swipe them away if you're not gonna use them. And it makes the iPad feel independent, right? It makes it feel almost like a computer, which is what Apple is looking to do and is continuing to do over the next several years. Now, there is some refinements, as I mentioned, to a lot of the core applications, how they behave, is pretty much identical to iPad OS 13. You're not going to be lost. For example, if we go to the Photos application, in the Photos application, we now have a sidebar. It's the same Photos app with additional features like the sidebar. This makes it feel more like a computer. Reminds me a lot of Mac OS. So you have all of For You, Albums, People, Places, Recent, and you can drag and drop items into the albums just like you can on Mac OS. And Apple just continues to make the iPad feel like it's separate thing, like its own little computer thing that could replace your computer computer maybe in the near future. Now these sidebars also translate and refinements also translate to the files application, to the notes application, etc. These sidebars really come in handy because of the canvas of the iPads being so big. Apple can really add a lot of those menus. Now one big feature this year is Scribble. Now Scribble of course is a new option for Apple Pencil where you can convert Scribble into text. So for example, you can type here on the screen or scribble on the screen, let's say the word hat, it'll translate that directly here on the screen. You have all of your menus at the bottom here, just like you're used to with iPad OS. But in addition, you have this new one that has the actual text right there, the text input uh, on the actual pencil, letting you know that that's the new one there. You have the scribble, which of course you can scribble on the screen. You have all of your options that you're used to with iPad OS, all of the same functions, as I mentioned as before. We have the eraser where you can erase items on the screen just like so just a lot of great features you can move these items or menus here to the side as well you can move them to the top to the left and you can place them on the bottom i like the way apple is going about with these new menus and how they behave throughout the entire os now this uh, scribble also works with any text input field so if we go to settings here let's say we type in apple and uh, it'll find any settings here that it's pertaining to the word Apple. And we have a lot of the new options and settings within the pencil, how to use it. And as I mentioned, you get that little quick tutorial at the beginning on how to use some of the latest features with iPad OS. So here we can type, let's say Apple once again, and it should translate this scribble into text. We can click search. You have the menu here again. You can move it over to the sides and you can continue using your iPad. It just feels like a more complete experience this year with the pencil and the iPad OS than it did last year. You don't really have a lot to learn. We have 
all of our gestures that we're used to. We have all of the menus and multitasking gestures as we would normally expect. Now, one thing that I did not see Apple bring to iPadOS is the ability to hide pages on the iPad. That's something that's not present here, something that we do see with iOS. But as you can see here, everything is pretty much a refinement this year. I'll continue digging around the software, find new features, enhancements, and improvements, but iPadOS is truly taking upon its own software, separated from the iPhone, separated from the Mac, and eventually merging into becoming its own thing and maybe a computer replacement in the future. Refinements, that's what iPadOS is this year. Improvements to pencil. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.